Hey guys, welcome back to Downtown Crown Wine and Beer Future of the Week. I'm Arash, this is Dave. We're joined here today by Justin, co-owner of Oliver Brewing and Pratt Street Ale House, and Steve, the head brewer of Oliver Brewing. We're here to promote Oliver's newest can release, Crown of Lies, which is the next release of their long-lived rock and roll double IPA series. Uh, we will be releasing this delicious double IPA Friday, January 13th at Downtown Crown Wine and Beer. Dave? Yeah, so you guys may remember a beer called Pagan Science that came out a few months ago. Uh, you guys have still been asking regularly when the next uh, iteration in that series will come out. Well, guess what, guys? That beer is here. Here's called Crown of Lies. It's uh, very, very similar in a lot of ways. It has some of the hot build that you, that you love so much out of uh, Pagan Science, but it does differ a little bit. So Stephen here is the head brewer. Steve, can you tell everybody... Uh, some of the, the similarities and maybe some of the differences between the two beers? Uh -huh. the, um, the whole point of the series is there is to be some continuity with it. Um, the base beer is pretty much brewed the same. It's just we're, we're playing with some, some hops that are available. You know, these days, everybody loves their hops, you know. We're no exception. Yeah. So, uh, Pagan Science um, was big on uh, a variety called Mosaic, although it used other hops as well. So there's some mosaic has carried on to this this second edition of the beer, mm -hmm. um, but Centennial is uh, a hop that's the, the what I would call the featured hop in this one. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of what you get in is uh, the the dry hop. We uh, we're dry dry hopping with two and a half pounds per barrel. Um, the bulk of that is Centennial. Also, some mosaic. As so, well. so Stephen, you have a, uh, uh, a history and uh, are well respected for your your traditional English style of brewing. Uh, you do a fantastic job with that. Uh, but then, what I think what lends itself to uh, your, your your brewing skill was that sort of out of nowhere, and I don't know if many people were expecting you guys to do this, but you come out with Pagan Science, and like bang! I mean, I really think it surprised a lot of people how fantastic <laughs> it was. I mean, I I do truly believe and I think our customers agree that it's it's it was as good and it's it's in the same likes as some of the best double IPAs that this area has put yeah, out. Thank you. Right. I Absolutely. appreciate so. it. Uh, living proof that you can uh, teach an old dog new tricks. You know, <laughs> I mean uh, obviously I've been uh, I've been brewing for it'll be twenty three years this year. Double IPAs are, you know not on my mind all the time right. but you know we're a brewery we but it was, to it make was a living. I mean, it's the first time you, you put something out like that and you knock it out. Yeah, of I mean, so we you yeah. know we we've done double IPAs before, but we've had to do them a bit differently. We obviously you know we're in our new uh, in our new brewery now. We uh, we're able to do a bit more than we used to be when we were in the brew pub. So uh, um, you know we're exploring. You know, as I say, market forces demand. Yeah. Double IPAs, you know. There's a big but market. But you're still for able it. to stay true and do the things that you've always yeah, done. Yeah, I mean that. Well, also. that's that. That's the great thing, you know. We can. Uh, we we have our, our niche, if if you want to call it that, of English ales. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't stop us doing everything else that everybody yeah. else wants yeah. to do. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, as as a brewer, uh, yeah, I, I want to challenge myself as well. So you know, I wanted to know, hey, can I make a what people will think is a really good double IPA. Well, so, you let's, did. Uh, let's cheers to teaching yeah. an old yeah. dog new tricks. Because <laughs> <Cheers. laughs> yeah. like, you learned really well, I'm going to say. Like, Thank guys, you. you guys were waiting for the next Pagan Science. Hey, like, can't wait for you all to try this. It's, again, so get it's out delicious. There. Absolutely delicious. And one thing I want to say, uh, we'll be the only game in town with cans of this beer. We'll have cans available for sale uh, You know, Friday the, the 13th. So. But you wanted to ask Justin something, Rush? So we're in um, Oliver's Production Brewery. It's only been open about a year and a half. It's a year in June. A year in June. And they are set up for success. Uh, just the facility is done. Has You did it the right way. You spent the money in early. I know you're telling me, you know, it was a big hit at first. But money well spent. And it is set up for success, like I said again. And growth. What is yeah. your vision for 2017? What are you going to use this facility for? I think 2017 is really uh, the year for us to make our mark and uh, continue to grow with the products that that people already know and enjoy and love, but um, but really see the other angles of what we can do. Um, it was a year in June. Uh, it, it can be confusing sometimes for a brewery that has this much 
heritage and history to reinvent itself. Um, but I think that people are just starting to see what we really can do now that we're in a full-scale production facility. So uh, yes. I think 2017 Shout is going to be the uh, year. Shout out to Jay, Willie, and Brad. You have a good sales team yeah, We have team a great sales team out there, guys that believe in the product. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah they, they, they love what we're doing here. So I think that this will be the year that people really see what we're what we're capable of doing on the on the large scale. We're not trying to we're not feeling out the new facility anymore. We're we're in our new home and we're producing the beers on a scale that we want to produce them. Well, as David said, like um, you know, Pagan Science kind of did come out of left field because people were used to you know your old English styles, but they came it came out of left field and then once people had it, I mean it was a home they run. They were buying it again and, I, and again. and I really feel that yeah, people are going to have the same feeling for this beer again, kind of wise. Yeah. And uh, cheers. Thank Cheers. you guys so much for having us. Uh, again, to reiterate, this Friday, yeah. uh, January 13th, we'll have the release of Crown of Lies. Um, and uh, one ahead. thing to note, too, is that the, the beer is going to be canned on Thursday, delivered to us Friday morning. So you're going to have day-old freshness that you can come pick up. Uh, the only place to get it. So See you guys Friday. See you guys Thanks, Friday. Guys.